after employees contracted COVID-19. Epidemiologist Chelsea Boyd is a research fellow at nonpartisan and nonprofit R Street Institute. She joined us earlier on Skype to talk about the surge. This isn't the second wave. We never really got rid of COVID. This is just an extension of the first wave. Opening early particularly, and we were seeing this in a lot of the states that did open early, just meant that they hadn't tamped down the levels enough. Is the summer possibly something that could stop coronavirus, the heat and humidity that comes with the season in many parts of our country? It's unlikely that summer is going to completely eradicate or annihilate the virus. It does seem that COVID is less likely to spread widely if you're outside. So being and doing more things outside will hopefully help and not have people trying to congregate so much indoors. However, that is not to say that there's not a risk of contracting COVID if you're interacting with people in close contact outside and without masks. Layering as many protections into your activities and behavior is the best way to go. Should the whole country have pretty much stayed on lockdown for at least a month longer? I think that's really difficult to answer. Some of it is that if you had come out of lockdown slowly and if people had worn masks and not started congregating in groups, obviously we all saw the pictures of certain places, particularly beaches was a big one, where people were not social distancing at all and were within close contact with people for long periods of time. You're just asking for COVID to start spreading. If people had worn masks at the beach, it probably probably would have helped a little, but it is still not a great idea to congregate where there's a lot of people. Coming this fall, we're going to have a flu vaccine available and people might say, well, okay, that's all well and good, but not necessarily a COVID-19 vaccine. Why is it important for us to get our flu shot again this year? So flu vaccine is important every year, but it's particularly important now that we are going to be having two respiratory illnesses circulating, two serious respiratory illnesses. The flu shot is effective in most people at preventing the flu or at least decreasing the severity of it. You can cannot get the flu from a flu shot. The most important part of getting it is that one, you're protecting others by getting your flu shot, and two, making it less likely that you will have to be hospitalized from complications of the flu, and that saves hospital beds for COVID, which we do not have a vaccination for. Epidemiologist Chelsea Boyd with the R Street Institute. She says keep wearing that mask, washing your hands, and keeping your distance from people. Scientists at Imperial College London will start immunizing folks in Britain this week with their experimental coronavirus shot becoming the latest entry into the race to find an effective vaccine. In a statement tonight, the British government says that 300 healthy people will be immunized with two doses of the COVID-19 vaccine candidate developed at Imperial. About a dozen vaccine candidates are in early stages of testing in thousands of people. There are no guarantees any will work, but there's increasing hope that at least some could be ready by the end of the year. It's 10.